Hello crypto peeps, my name is Sebastian, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to enable blind signing on your Ledger wallet for the Solana blockchain. So firstly, what is blind signing? If we go to avanawallet.com, we can go to the docs, and we can also go to more and go to the blog. In the docs, on the left hand side, you've got hardware wallets. Click on that and scroll on down. You'll see blind signing. Or on the right hand side, you can just click here, blind signing. All blind signing is, is our Ledger is just saying, I don't understand the transaction you're doing. Therefore, as Ledger does not understand the transaction, they're not going to allow you to go ahead and to submit it. Because as they can't read it, maybe it's a bad transaction and maybe your crypto gets taken. So let me show you how to enable it and then I'll give you more information if you still want it. All right, so here's our Ledger. Enter your password and then click on the Solana application. Scroll to the right, go to settings, and then it says allow blind sign. Turn that to yes. And then you can go back and now blind sign is turned on. So any transactions that we do, we have to take responsibility for. I have a link below this blog post as well. This is a must read. If you go control F and type in blind, you can see blind signing. This gives you a lot more information. One of the reasons why blind signing exists is because you go through multiple transaction steps and yet all that information is too much information to show on your ledger screen. So as an example, if you go to your Avana wallet and your ledger wallet, and you go to the in-app swap, you might swap from Solana to USDC. And that goes through lots of different transactions. Or you may have some Ori token from the Aurora game. If you go ahead and stake that, that's going to go through a more complex set of transactions. So now the important question, is blind signing safe? Yes, it is as safe as you are. If you interact with good DeFi programs, good staking contracts, and if you know what to look for and make sure you're not doing anything silly, then it's safe. Also, as you'll see in other tutorials, Avana Wallet does simulate the transaction, so you get a good idea of what's happening with it. One final thing to add about blind signing, if you update your ledger, which is recommended and happens quite often, normally blind signing will be off just by default, in which case, go back into the settings and turn it back on. Finally, you will notice some transactions work without blind signing, like sending a little bit of Solana from your ledger wallet to another wallet, but more complex transactions like DeFi don't work. And that's all there is to know about blind signing. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next tutorial. Remember to like and subscribe. Cheers.